Hello everybody, welcome to another Let's Play of With Great Power Let's Plays. This time around, it is the Deadpool game that recently released for the PS3, Xbox, and whatever other system is on, I believe, Wii U. Today with me, I have Gossett. Oh, hoy, hoy. Good to be part of the, the party, as it were. <laughs> yeah, this is actually something we both are going to have a riot with, because this game is a comic book game, as always, and we both love comics. Indeed. What is your history with Deadpool? Like, what can you share with us? Well, in terms of just character or my personal, how Deadpool has touched my life. How Deadpool has touched your life. In many ways, many inappropriate ways. Uh, no, I've, uh, I've become a bigger fan of him over time. In fact, last, uh, last Momocon, I even cosplayed as him. Uh, Kawaii Deadpool. Kawaii Deadpool. And there's Wolverine talking to our hero about... <laughs> Something. Yeah. Nice. So, this game just recently released, and it's it's about time. Deadpool's never actually had a big game appearance. True enough. Well, he had his uh, few little moments in Marvel Ultimate Alliance, too, but that was about it. <laughs> yeah. I remember playing as him in a... Uh, I think it might have been number one. I, I play as him in Marvel Heroes. <laughs> yeah. Like, um, if you beat a boss and you take a medal, he goes, It's dangerous to go alone. I'll take this! <laughs> oh, Deadpool is gonna pass. <laughs> I love I love how he has, like, those two, those two personalities in his head. It, it always comes into play in the comics, and it's hilarious. Oh, yeah. There was you actually... Gotta, sorry, go ahead. You gotta love, uh, dueling fonts. Yeah. <laughs> there was also a, um, sketch I was doing in a, in a, a, uh, sketch show I had planned. I believe I told you about this, Cop in a Rock. It was a Deadpool sketch where the two sides of his head were warring over whether or not... Because there was a panel I found of him kissing what appeared to be a young woman. And I'm right. talking, like, young. <laughs> so, I'm like... Pedophile or not with those two... Warring right. personalities. It was fun. Um, yeah, the game has a, the game. The game's actually pretty spot on with the humor. Oh yeah, nice. I do remember. Uh, great. I I actually don't have too many just like standalone Deadpool comics, except for a few of the beginning, uh, like Jerry Duggan and uh, Brian Posehn ones. So yeah. Like I don't have any uh, physical ones. But I do have them digitally. Like, I, I, I collect the Marvel now Deadpool. Right. Let me tell you, in Wade We Trust, that was where he's re-killing the dead presidents. That was amazing. Oh, yeah. And this part, I just sat there because I wanted to hear what they were talking about Spider-Man. Spider-Man have a sweet-ass supercharged healing factor? No. But me? Some jackass gets lucky and tags me with a stray bullet? Whatever. Freaky cellular region. I love, I love, I love the dialogue in this game. Nice. He's, and then um, there was actually an achievement, like here. I already played through this game, so you don't see it. But you pop yeah. up, and he gives you an achievement. It says, "What's that? You tracking my every move now?" <laughs> and it goes, the, "The achievement's called the first one is free." And then after he's done saying that, he goes, "Another one pops up called the second one is also free." And then and then he's go, "Oh, it's gonna be one of those games, huh?" <laughs> so I spent. There was a time. Someone knocks on your door soon, and I actually ignored it because it was achievement for doing 14 things in Deadpool's house, so I just walked around and did everything. Nice. Um, One, you made pancakes and just threw them out the window, and there was an achievement for making 1,000 pancakes. Nice. Yeah. This, this is a funny scene, because... <laughs> we just had this weirdest dream where this... I'll try not to talk as much during this because <laughs> he's so hilarious. Good. I realize in my last <laughs> video I talked a hell of a lot. Don't make me do this, yep. <laughs> he has a blow up doll. Nice. I wonder how Deadpool lives in these conditions. This game had a shame meter. Comfortably. Oh, yeah, comfortably. <laughs> yeah, I like this part. Remind me to tell the audio guys to change that fucking doorbell sound. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, 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 uh underwear? 
Are you trying to say Nolan North and Deadpool go together so well? Oh yeah. Especially since like the first role he had as Deadpool was pretty much uh, more or less improv. Really? What was it? Uh, in a uh, Hulk versus. Oh really? Appar apparently he was not the first voice actor for Deadpool. But uh, when they recorded it, like the first time, they realized it didn't work right. Yeah. And they uh, yeah. they brought him in. They were like, "There's no mouth flaps because he's wearing a mask." So just start talking. <laughs> so pretty much most of the stuff was yeah. Why are we trying to? Sorry, my dad was talking to me. Yeah, I heard you. <laughs> Fair enough. I had to mute because my dad was yelling at me. He wasn't, he wasn't yelling at me. He was telling me where he's going. Change your fucking life. Nice. I just realized how unprofessional that last statement was. Well, you know. You know, parents. The rentals, what are you gonna do? Yeah, the rents. Alright. Now, this is actually a pretty cool tutorial, because you just get thrown into it. Fair enough. And they, and they, they just tell you to press buttons. Nice. Player, read that shit. Do whatever High Moon says. Sweet. Attacks. Sorry. <laughs> We've mastered the buttons. We've mastered the buttons. Fantastic. So we can test our match skill. All right. Now this one I actually rack up a 50 combo because I'm just yeah that that right there where he's moving around. Yeah. That's a teleport button. Nice. You if you don't want to get hurt or you're in a jam, just press that button. It does have to recharge, but it, it teleports you behind like. An enemy. Nice. I don't know if that's only on this difficulty or what, but... Yeah. You get that nice cha-ching sound whenever you beat an enemy. <laughs> yeah, I do remember he, uh... He did have, like, sort of a teleport belt for the longest time. Did he? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he kind of, like, stole it from somebody, I forget. Oh, I thought it was just a thing they added in the game. I don't know. No, he had it. I think it was probably one of the ones that it probably came about during like Cable and Deadpool's team up book. Look at that max combo 50. Nice. Oh yeah, Cable and Deadpool. I never I, I, the only um actual Cable and Deadpool comics I've read were involved in Civil War. And they were pretty funny, but Cable and Deadpool weren't really Cable and Deadpool in, in yeah. the Civil War. I remember a few of those. Um I actually have one, but it was it was just called Deadpool Team Up because it was mm -hmm. after Cable had left. Mhm. Mm Probably my favorite one, he ends up uh, teaming up with U.S. Agent, who is a trucker. Oh, yeah. Space space trucker, and then they fight uh, mutant raccoons. Isn't it's amazing. U isn't U.S. Agent the um, black and white Captain America? Oh, wait, no, no, no. Uh, oh, U.S. One, that's what I'm thinking of. U.S. Oh. One, that's his name. I forget. But his name is, like, Ulysses S.A. something. Like his... <laughs> oh, look, look at this, look at this. It's a bounce house. Sweet. <laughs> Whew. Sometimes it's the setup work that'll get you all tuckered out. I know what we were saying. <laughs> but, uh, remember, uh, US 1's uh, original power back when he was introduced in the 70s was he had a metal plate in his head that allowed him to pick up CB transmissions. Yeah. <laughs> and then after that, they were like, what do we do with this character? So they put him into space and he became a space trucker. <laughs> and it's amazing. Yeah. Uh, and so it was like him and Deadpool had to end up driving a convoy for, like, the devil. It was... <laughs> and then mutant raccoons. They actually um, started an arc after the In Wade We Trust with the Marvel Now Deadpool that, yeah. um... It, they, they said it was... They said it was a, uh... Like, like... It was at, right after they finished that arc that they launched... Mm -hmm. They said that one of the people that died in that arc to become Deadpool's friend was now, actually now part of Deadpool's mind. Like, huh. like, because the dead presidents had killed her. Yeah. And, um, he was like, oh, no. And then the sorcerer that brought the presidents back to life, he was actually trying to help him get back to being dead. Right. He, um, he was able to salvage a little bit of her soul and put it back into Deadpool's mind. Because <laughs> there's plenty of room. And, right. um, the, the issue after that, they said it was a ready, they said it was a ready-made issue. Because they, they only had so much time to make the uh, next part. But it actually, yeah. I have a feeling it wasn't, because they said that it was something that was already made back in the 70s, like, where they made issues, if they didn't think they were going to make it on time, they already had it written, they already had it arted, 
like drawn, yeah. and um, I don't know if that's a real thing. Eh. But uh, they 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 said that's what this issue was, and then they brought the plot points from that issue back into Marvel now. I, I I'm thinking they just made that up, but you know. Eh, you never know. You never know. It might have been. The the magic of comic book making, folks. Yeah. You can never tell. <laughs> I, lo I love this. Stuff. I really do. It's it, it actually <laughs> plays very well. Yeah. Like the controls are very tight. It'd be good to uh, when I pick this up. Uh, it'll be nice to have something that's uh, sort of actiony. Yeah. Well, like I said, last thing I bought was The Last of Us, which is a bummer. And uh, yeah. Yeah. The last. <laughs> it's, a good, it's a good game. It's a good it's game. It's just sad. <laughs> yeah. Like, I have enough sadness in my life. The, the first, the first thing you get is someone dying, and you've only known that character for about what five minutes, yeah. and you still feel. <laughs> yeah, it's like you know that that was a bummer. I'm, I end up reading like downer plays that I'm in. Friggin' like my bear broke up with me in my Pathfinder game. It's it. You know, <laughs> I'm going through a rough time. I'm telling You're going you. through a rough patch, man. We yeah. all have those things. We all have those moments. I I and I think I might have to kill a party member next session. It sucks. Nice sound effects there, Deadpool. <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> Wilhelm. Yeah. Nice. I, was, I was playing that first on my TV, and I'm like. Did I just hear what I think I heard? And then I was playing it again on the computer to get this footage. And my god, it was the Wilhelm scream. <laughs> now, one of the achievements here that I haven't gotten yet is to get a 50 combo before they lock the elevators. Yeah. And the people are just so spaced out, like, that I can't get that combo. Hmm. But, um... The combat in this game is actually very polished. You, you can either choose to just wail on them with your katanas with wa with uh, lighter heavy attacks, or you right. can bring out your gun and shoot that way. And there's no shortage of ammo, as you saw those ammo packs right there. Right. I wasn't picking them up because they don't let you if you have full ammo. They already full up. Yeah. Nice. And uh, it's it's very gen. Yeah, this game is very generous with what it, what it gives you. Hmm. Um, I believe, uh, I can't remember, I, I don't think this is based off any story, because, like you said, Deadpool pitched it himself. Right. But, um, it would be neat, it would be neat to have a Deadpool game based off an actual story, you know? Well, yeah, the, I think the main thing with the stories, though, is it's very much just refuge and audacity, or, you have too many other properties, he kind of, like, just ends up showing up in right so. right yeah yeah deadpool doesn't really <laughs> he doesn't really stick around yeah deadpool couldn't really work on a solo mission like he has to have other people to make fun of basically right like the the 11th issue in um the actual deadpool comic yeah is him teaming up with superior spider-man right and uh there's an issue of avenging spider-man where he teams up with deadpool for a few issues so yeah, Deadpool's Deadpool really relies on somebody else. Yeah. Like even in the in Wade We Trust arc, he wasn't alone in killing the presidents. He had Ben Franklin's ghost. Yeah. Wouldn't it be so cool if Ben Franklin stuck around? Well, that was the thing. He he was stuck around because he said, uh, "In my time, my in my discovery of electricity gave me the knowledge I needed to stay around Earth as a being of pure electricity." Right. So <laughs> that was pretty cool. I remember writing my uh, a story based on that arc, and I, and and uh, before that point, I I had FDR like challenging Deadpool's um comedic authority because he was making jokes. He was like, here's a new deal for you. Die! Or, the only thing you have to fear is me. Yeah. And I was like, I, Deadpool was getting pissed because he was taking his shtick. And then I had uh, the quote from Benjamin Franklin saying, I, I I was shocked to find that I was a being of pure electricity. And then Nipple's like, shocked. He's pure electricity. I better keep an eye on this one. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yes. Oh, I love that part. He's like, I need theme music. Oh, <laughs> <Aww>, Deadpool. <laughs> nope, wrong way. This game, it just has so much offhanded humor that 
right. Deadpool really has. Right. Yeah. Do you have anything, any first impressions of this game that you're seeing so far? I'm digging it. The the gunplay uh, is actually a little bit different than I thought it would be. What, what did you think it would be? I was I was thinking more of like a sort of like a Devil May Cry sort of interface, like where you can do more like gymnastics and jumping around and all that mm -hmm. stuff, mm -hmm. and kind of interplaying the swords. Yeah. But you know, I'll have to see you know later on how they go with all the weaponry. Right. Um, so far, like, you can buy frag grenades, but I really just, I really just, I'm saving, I mean, I upgraded my guns and abilities. Yeah. But, um, the only thing I really use so far is my swords and my gun. I haven't really bought any, like, grenades or anything. Mm. Whereas I would probably spam grenades all the time. <laughs> yeah. There's, um, like, if you, they, they actually put things, like, they lay, like, upgrades out for you but if you go over to them and you don't have the item it's for it'll say you have not purchased this item yet and you just can't pick it up huh that's a little weird like they don't i don't think it tells you what item it is either hmm. yeah the thing that gets the thing that makes me mad about this game are the armored enemies because you have to press square and then triangle or triangle and then square like in rapid succession Hmm. And if you're not fast enough, they can deal some damage. Like, like I, I, I mash the buttons, but they, it doesn't break their huh. clock. See, like, I'm doing it right there, and eventually he does it. Yeah, armored enemies are a bitch. <laughs> yeah. Had the I, same problem with, uh, in, like, Arkham City. Yeah, <laughs> I hated that. Like, in Shadow Dimension, Spider-Man, it wasn't so bad, because there was just, like, you just held triangle. And that was your charge super attack, so it just basically broke their block. Right. But that was easy, like, it's just one button held. Hmm. I remember where it was, like, in the uh, old Ultimate Spider-Man game, like, you had to basically just build up momentum and bounce around, like, five people, and then you could take out a big guy, like, with one hit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was a fun combat system. I miss that game. Which one? Uh, Ultimate Spider-Man. Oh, yeah. I was going to get that, but... I don't think they would sell it at the GameStop. I don't even have a PS2 anymore. How dare you? I'm just on that. I still have a PS2. It's just in my closet. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I traded in my PS2. I, I recently just traded in my Xbox because I traded in all of the games I had for it forever ago, and I had no games for it. I'm like, why do I even still have this? That's fair. Oh, I love this part. <laughs> <laughs> I'm crazy. I'm crazy. Up, oh, ruined Deadpool spoof. This must be my stop. <laughs> ah, there's gotta be a way out of here. Think, Deadpool, think. Yeah, this elevator. Movie solution to being stuck in an elevator in three, two, one. I timed that. I'm like, yep. <laughs> Ugh. You know, in a weird way, this almost makes me think of an al like this is some alternate reality of the game Spec Ops: The Line. Yeah. <laughs> Did you ever play Spec Ops? No, but I've heard of it. I heard it was pretty good. It's good, and like Nolan North also voices the main character in that. Does he? Uh, but basically, at the end of Spec Ops: The Line, your character, the main character, uh, goes insane from all the horrors that he witnessed in Dubai. And uh, just starts seeing things and starts basically having conversations with imaginary things inside his own head. <laughs> so, who knows? Who knows? Spec Ops The Line. Prequel to Deadpool. <laughs> now we know. Now we know. <laughs> and knowing is half the battle! Indeed! The house is still pumped up. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if the pound's house is still popped up. That comes in later. Pay attention to that. Alright. Uh, actually, right? actually, I'll just let you know now, because it's going to be a while before the... Uh, next part comes out because i stupid me went ahead in the game without recording it because i couldn't wait um it would have been blind so i don't think you would have see, wanted to see me die a few times but um they basically he basically th runs this guy out of a window falls all the way down the building into the sewer and lands on the bounce house <laughs> nice. so it was put there for a reason 
check elves bounce house. Yeah. There's actually those are tacos I'm picking up. Those those little squares yeah. that aren't ammo. <laughs> I get an achievement. <laughs> if you get 100 tacos, you get an achievement. Nice. Yeah, the, like when you get when you get um a lot of enemies in the room like this, you've yeah. got to pick and choose which combat style you want. Right. I haven't mastered the uh aiming before shooting yet because like I I usually take a lot of time to aim and I think it auto locks on if you're near enough. Huh. But it's kind of it's kind of different. Like if you get a lot of people, you got to figure out which one you want. It's kind of strategic. Yeah, that's my problem with uh, any kind of over-the-shoulder shooting system, is I always take way too much time. Yeah, like like Call of Duty and stuff. Yeah, like even uh, like Saints Row the Third, I end up taking way too much time to line up headshots than I do to just demolish everything, which right. is pretty much the point of the game. Right. I always, like, in Call of Duty, well, that's first person, but in Call of Duty, I always, like, I cannot shoot without aiming down the sights. It's just instinct, and I cannot. Yeah. I can't. <laughs> I wish I could because I feel like I'm losing a lot of time, but... Well, like, you pretty much can't do multiplayer by playing like that, too. Like, that's the problem. Right. Because <laughs> everyone else is better at just blind firing and you right, gotta compensate. Right, right, spray and pray. That dumb stiff. <laughs> How dare they? That's why I don't play those games anymore. <laughs> and also, I have just got tired of military shooters. Yeah, there's way too many of them out now. Eh. Like, they're all so, they're, like, they're all the same, like, I really don't understand why there's such an argument between Battlefield and Call of Duty, like, just play one. Well, there is a difference between There is a playing. difference, yes, but why argue over it? They're both games, they're both made to have fun. Eh. Call of Duty Ghosts, coming up, one of your teammates is a dog. Really? Yeah, and they mo capped the dog. <laughs> that was apparently one of the big things when they were also talking about the Xbox One. Yeah, they said they was did. Was The dog. They were like, yeah, one of your squad mates is a dog. And then <laughs> they showed a picture of a mo capped German Shepherd. <laughs> like, it was a German Shepherd with tennis balls on it, and it was amazing. <laughs> Adam Warrock actually released a, uh, a rap song about it. Oh, yeah, I think I heard that. Mo capped dogs, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this game's over the top ridiculous, but it's a good over the top ridiculous. Oh yeah. I believe around here is where I start. Like when I get out to a clip, when I get out to a um, more open area. Yeah. I start fucking up, and I get down to like one health. <laughs> so I like, I like, I like haul ass out of that room and stand in the safe area while the, the while the healing factor kicks in. And that's fast. Like, you can oh, yeah. go from one health to a hundred in about, like, five seconds. Nice. Yeah, it's this area where I get take too many hits. You'll see. <laughs> You'll know. Because <laughs> the screen gets all bloody. You ain't shit. Here's the thing, like, I know Ryan Reynolds is, like, tied to a Deadpool movie, and I totally get that. And he actually did okay in, you know, Origins for what he was there for. Yeah. But I'd be completely fine if they just did a Deadpool movie where he was in the costume the entire time. Yeah. Just had some versatile guy, you know, do the physicality, and then just have Nolan North talk over it the whole time. I'm gonna plug, great. I'm gonna plug, uh, Machinima's video, Deadpool vs. Batman. Yeah. Um, it's superhero beatdown. It's actually really well done, and I think it would actually be what a Deadpool movie is. See, this is where it happens. See how low my health is? Oof. It's a four, actually. Nice. I need help. And a pony. <laughs> yeah, see, I just, like, wait. See, that's how, ha that's how fast the health regens. Oh, nice. Yeah. And since we're uh, mildly discussing the idea of Deadpool movies, I'm also going to plug a uh, 
There's actually a Deadpool fan film called A Typical Tuesday. Is there? That thing is the jam. That is an awesome. How long is it? It's about 20 minutes. Really? I'll have to check it out after this. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's really well done. In fact, they even bring in the uh, like the caption boxes. Really? And he weaponizes them. It's what you, amazing. What do you mean? He uses them as like... Like, he starts thinking about it, and then he manages... He like he pulls the caption box out of the way and slams someone in the face with it. <laughs> it's kind of amazing. Yeah, this this part's um, weird. Oh, we go Just from? messing around on the... Only one way to go. Whee! We got some Assassin's Creed stuff going on. Yeah, this game actually gives you a um a, a saving grace because if you start to fall, it'll give you like a split second to press circle and teleport back to the safe place. Huh. But if you miss that, you're done. Oh, <laughs> if, oh you that's miss, nice. if you miss that opportunity, it's like it's like a couple seconds. Like I I was falling from a higher area earlier on before I was recording, and I'm like. Oh god, and then it gave me that prompt, and I'm like, what? And then I missed it. <laughs> nice. It's not one of those, like, screw you prompts like they give you in Mass Effect 3 sometimes. Like what? Like, there's a moment in Mass Effect 3 where a character jumps off a cliff, mm -hmm. and it gives you a chance to do, like, a Paragon interrupt to stop them. Mm -hmm. But the Paragon interrupt is, like, a quarter of a millisecond, mm -hmm. and there's no way you can ever hit it. So it, think... it gives you that button just to push it in vain and watch someone die. <laughs> yeah. I think this is where I stop recording. Yeah, around here is where I stop recording because it was getting to be almost half an hour. So we will see you later in the next part. I'm Copper. I am Gasset. And this is Deadpool. We'll see you next time.